In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to tether an iPad to review images from your camera in real time. This might be useful in a few situations, such as evaluating exposure and focus in a studio or still life setup, or to allow the people around you to see your photos in real time. This feature requires a lightning to USB adapter, unless you have one of the current generation iPad Pros which have native USB-C ports. The functionality is available on the currently shipping iOS 12, but I'll also be demonstrating the new voice control feature coming in iOS 13, which extends the functionality even further, allowing you to go completely hands-free to navigate through your images on the iPad. On the left of your screen, I have a video showing my Nikon Z6. On the right is a screencast of my 9.7 inch 6th gen iPad, which is running the first beta of iOS 13. When I make a connection between my computer's USB port and the iPad, the photo apps comes up and immediately switches to the import tab. Here you will see the current photos on your camera, including raw images. Right now I have just a single photo on my camera's media card. Notice how by default the import window shows just a small thumbnail of the image. You can increase the size of this preview by pinching one of those thumbnails, which I'm doing here to get the full preview size. This process may take a few attempts because the app is a little buggy. With the import window now set to preview at full size, I'll go ahead and take a photo with the camera. The window immediately updates to show the newly available photo. In this iOS 13 beta, the tiny thumbnail strip below the photo sometimes fails to update, but you can still see the new photo is available to the right of the current full-size preview. To view the new photo, you'll have to swipe the iPad screen left. I haven't found a way yet to automatically scroll the preview to the most recently taken photo. Now I'll demonstrate how the new voice control feature in iOS 13 allows you to navigate through photos without having to swipe the screen. Swipe left. Swipe left. Swipe right. Swipe left. Repeat three times. Another useful feature of voice control is the ability to overlay numbers on all clickable controls, allowing you to simulate taps on those controls by reciting the number out loud. Show numbers. One. Show numbers. Eight. Show numbers. Eleven. You can also have the overlay numbers visible at all times by enabling them in the accessibility settings. Thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, four. Lastly, I'll demonstrate the overlay grid, which allows you to simulate precise taps on a screen by iteratively reciting numbers to zoom into any area of the screen. Hide numbers. Show grid. Four, eight, tap five. Show grid. Tap seven. Show grid. 4, 6, tap 8, 